Good evening, good evening, people. Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you? Hi, uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Blanca. We have Sandra Margarita. Thanks. So chill. Welcome, Vanessa Flores. Welcome. We have Gabriela Vigail. Welcome. We have Sandra Guadalupe, Judy Edith, Maria Emilia. Welcome, everyone. How was your weekend? Everything okay? Hello. Yes, it's yes, okay. Everything okay? Did you relax on your weekend? No. It was a nice weekend? Yes. Yes, it was nice. Excellent. Sleeping, relaxing, working, studying. What actions? What actions did you do? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? ¿Se escucha? Sí, teacher. Yes. No, okay. Yeah. So tell me, what actions did you do? What were your actions? Did you relax? No? Sí, muy relaxed. You were relaxing. <laughs> Sleeping. Yes. yes. Okay. Did you watch a movie? Netflix? No? No movies? No. Baby, welcome. Hey, music. Music. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, welcome. Ah, so you were listening to music. Yes. Yeah, that's very good job. Nice one. It's necessary, right, to relax, to take some time to relax. Good one. Okay. Guys, solo me ayudan con las cámaras, por favor, porque si nos piden que las activemos. So let's start. Do you remember that? Thank you, thank you very much. It's nice to see you. That is very good to see your faces. <laughs> Remember that in the previous class, we had some practice, right? With the actions, with the WH words that you had. So we had some of them here. We formulate the questions. We also have these ones. Let's continue answering here some other questions in a specific information. For example, what's Celia wearing? But Celia, we have it here. Tell me, what's Celia wearing? She's, uh -huh. she's um, wearing a dress. Uh, no, uh, uh, Ah, uh, I know what's in my video. Let's make the picture like bigger, right? Big picture. So Celia is here, right? Which one? Sorry? She's wearing a suit. A suit. Uh -huh. a suit. A suit. Ah. Excellent. That's correct. She's wearing a suit. Very good. Okay. Now let's select other picture. Nevi, select other, uh, other question. From here and formulate to Vanessa Flores. Elige una de las preguntas. You choose one. Bien. Um, where is Celia is going? Ah, very good. Where is Celia going? Vanessa? Here we have Celia. No sé si veo bien, pero to the bank. Ah, very good. Give us complete answer. That's correct. Good. Complete answer, please. He or she? Uh, she go to the bank. She's going. She's going. Um, Remember, it's in this moment, right? When you are doing the action she's at this going moment. going to the bank. To the bank. Excellent. That's good. Okay. Santa Margarita, continue. You formulate another question. And you ask Blanca. Sandra Margarita, activate the microphone, please. Yes. Sorry. There you go. That's okay. Blanca, why is Marcos getting up? Mm, that's good. Why is Marcos getting up? Hey, this is Marcos. Marcos. 
So you need to give us a reason. Este no Yo, sé, eh, eh, o sea, porque me está preguntando porque Marcos este, se está levantando. Ajá. Where is Marcos getting up? Ajá, pero no sé cómo contestarle. <laughs> okay, first let's start. Marcos is he or she? Marcos. Are you sure? Marcos. <laughs> he or she? Ay. Ajá. Marco. No sé, teacher. <laughs> It's help, he. Help. I'm sorry? He or she? It's he. He is. He. Right? Porque es él. He Para is. referirnos a él, decimos he. Para ella, decimos she. Ah, me estaba preguntando yes. si él es él o es ella. <laughs> Ajá, correct. No le había entendido. So, so Marco is he or she. Is he. he, right? That is the subject. So, as the action is at this moment, then you say, he is getting up because, como nos pide una razón, ¿verdad? He is getting up because, ¿por qué razón puede ser que él se está levantando? Why is it's, he getting up? It's in the morning. Ah, okay. Because it is 6 a.m. or 6 o'clock in the morning. Or because he is going to work. Porque él va para el trabajo, right? That's a possibility. Because he is going to work. To work. So that's a reason. Because he's going to work. A possibility of reason. Or because he needs to go to the supermarket, right? So he's going... To gym. Ah, very good because he is going to the gym. So different reasons that we can apply. Now let's formulate another question. Sandra. Sandra Margarita. Formulate another question. For Rebecca. For yes. Rebecca Flores. Uh, Rebecca. Uh, where is Andre working? Mm -hmm. Where is Andre working? Sorry, can you repeat me? Mm -hmm. Repeat it, please. Where, where's Andre working? Andre working. Andre working. Nice, thank you. Uh, he's uh -huh. working in Moscow. Uh -huh, that's good, okay. He's working in Moscow. That's correct. You have like a, a place, right? And also, what would be like more specific space? In the house, in the office? Where? He's, he's working in the office. In the office, that's good. So you have different possibilities, right? That's good. Okay, thank you. Let's continue, Gabriela Abigail. Formulate another question and you ask Judy. Uh, Judy. What's Marcos wearing? What's Marcos wearing? Okay. He is wearing pajamas. Pajamas. Okay. He's wearing pajamas. That's very good job. Nice one. Okay. Now, Kenya, formulate the other question for Aaron. Kenya, Vanessa? Kenya? Hola, Miss. Hello. Yes. Es que casi no escucho. Ah, okay. You have problems with connection. Okay, then. Analyze it, formulate it to Aaron. The microphone, please, Ada. Oh, yes, there you are. Con yes. cualquiera, teacher. Yes, the one that you prefer. Okay. Um, ah, where is uh, Marcos from? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where yeah. is Marcos from? It's perfect. 
I'm sorry? Es correcto. Así como yeah, dice. because you investigated. Yeah, that's correct. Ajá, ajá. Marcos. Okay. Where is Marcos from? That's another question. Yes. Where is Marcos from? What will be the answer? Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Fine. Um, it's... Marcos is he or she? He, he's, he's. Ah, that's good. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's living. He's uh, from Mexico. He's from. He's from. Sorry, he's from Mexico City. Mexico City. Okay. That's very good. Nice one. Okay, now Blanca, you formulate another question to Rafael. Yes, Blanca. Okay, yo pregunto. Blanca, formulate the question for Rafael, for you. Okay. Blanca, can you listen to us? Mm. Read one question, like, who is sleeping now, for example? Where is Andre working? What's Celia wearing? What are Sue and Tom doing? Este, no es que no quiera colaborar, pero es que en realidad no hay, créame que me cuesta mucho, no sé, no sé qué pregunta hacerle. Eh, read one of these. Leamos una de esta de acá y la formula. For example, who is sleeping now? ¿Quién está durmiendo ahora? Where is Andre working? Vamos pues, acá. Puede you ser cualquiera. Any question. Cualquiera. Puede ser cualquiera de esas. Exacto. Ajá. Así como han elegido ah. sus compañeros, que es cualquiera de las que están acá. Ok. Este. Who, who is sleeping who is? now? Who no. is who sleeping, is sleeping now? now? That's correct. Very good job. Nice one. Ok. Let's continue then. Rafael, the answer, please. Hola. Ajá. What's the answer? Who is sleeping now? According to the picture, right? Um, yes, is, is Marcos? Marcos, no, he's not sleeping right now. He's getting up she, right now. She, she, so what is her name? Victoria, right? She is Victoria, she, uh -huh. yes. so you can say Victoria. Victoria is sleeping now. Is sleeping now. Sleeping Ajá, now. Right. Como acá nos investiga quién, entonces necesito mm -hmm. mencionar el nombre del sujeto, right? Mm -hmm. right. So Victoria is sleeping now. Victoria okay. is the bedroom. Ajá, sorry. On the bedroom. Ajá, in the bedroom. In the bedroom. Uh, that's good. So that is like extra information. That's for right, yes. Is he sleeping now in the bedroom, right? Yeah, that's correct. Good one. Now, let's check another exercise. Let's check here. Now about the time. Tell me, what time is it in Bangkok? It's 7 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? P.M. P.M. Okay, so what is the other option? Another option that we can say the same time. It's seven p.m. It's seven p.m. Uh huh. It's seven, seven o'clock in the morning or in the evening. In the evening. In the evening. evening. Yeah, that's good, right? Yeah, that's good. What time is it in Tokyo? It's nine it's o'clock. It's, yeah. it's nine o'clock. Yes. In the morning, in the evening, or at night? At night. At night. At night. Excellent. Yeah. Remember that here we don't pronounce like in the night, but we say at night. At night. At night. That's good. Now, what time is it in your city? 
Midnight. It's midnight. Is it midnight? Because it's the zero hours, right? Or it depends on the country. Depends on the país, right? Also. <laughs> because we were mentioning that, for example, in countries that you do not see the sun, hay países en los que no ven, like, like they don't see the sun, right? No ven el sol. So it's a, a different time. Mm -hmm. Now, the video, we didn't watch the videos, right? No terminamos de ver el video, ¿verdad? We didn't watch it. No, right? We didn't finish it. No, miss. So let's check it. We are going to watch it. They're going to the movies. order to express activities. No problem with the video? You can listen? Yes. No problem. Yeah. Okay, great. Let's start by listening and repeating. He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. She's running. He's swimming. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Now, your task is to describe the actions from the pictures and form statements in the present continuous. For example, he's playing tennis. She's riding a bike. You should get creative and change the he or she for names of people that you know. For example, Mike is playing tennis. Mary is uh, riding a bike. After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, we saw the examples here with the activities. Now you are going to give more, than a, more forms of actions, but look at the picture because depending on the subject, if the subject is he, if it's she, or if it's plural subject, like they. So let's check it here. In the first one you have, he's running. He's running, then we have this case. Is he or she? What do you think? He. She. Look at the hair. Is she. Is she, she, right? So we need to change this one. This is correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 Excellent. You need to check, right, if there is a mistake, incorrect or correct. Good. So that's she is running. Excellent. What about if I say about this one? They are swimming. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 What is because the it's the only person. It's only one person, exactly. Okay, so you're going to give me more examples. Like he is riding a bike, she is riding a bike. Yes? So I ask, I'm going to select. Yo voy a ir señalando la imagen. Ustedes me van a dar la oración. For example, if I say this one, with the verb drive. Maybe start. She's, she's driving. He or she? She. She. That's good. She's driving. That's cool. What color is her car? Purple. It's purple. purple. Very purple. good job. That's nice. Adalie said, continue. Now you're going to use ride a bike. He's reading a bike. Riding, right? Riding. Riding. Uh-huh. Repeat it, please. Repeat it. He is reading. Riding. A bike. Riding. Right. Uh -huh. Sorry. Riding. I concentrate no problem. more. Okay, go ahead. Concentrate more. <laughs> he is 
riding a bike. Excellent job. Very good. Judy, continue. Right. Take a walk. She is uh -huh. take a walk. Taking? Taking. Taking. Remember, I am. She, perdón. She is taking a walk. A walk. A walk. A walk. A walk. 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 Very walk. good, Joe. Repeat it, please. Walk. 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 She is. Uh -huh. She is taking a walk. Excellent, Joe. Very good. That's nice. Aaron, continue. Now you're going to use dance. They're, they're dancing right now. Ah, that's very good. Nice one. They're dancing right now. Cool. Sandra Margarita. Now you're continuing with watch television. He is watching television. Excellent. Nice. Let's go on with another action, Blanca. Let's continue with read. Sería, she is, she is, o como es? Yeah, that's correct. She is, she is read. She is reading. Remember, I is reading. Vamos, le vamos a agregar ING a la forma base del verbo. So it's, she is. She is. Ajá. Reading. Reading. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. What is it possible to read? The newspaper, a book, a story, a book. A book. Aha, uh -huh, correct. Book. So she's reading a book. A book. Like a, no, repeat it, please. She's reading a book. Reading? 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 Reading a book. A book. Very good job. That's nice. Good one. Continue, Rebecca. Continue with shop. He is shopping in the market. That's good. He's shopping in the market. Excellent. That's good. Rafael, continue with go to the movies. Um, you have plural subject here. They, they are going to the movies. They are going, going, going to the movies. To the movies. Repeat it, please. They are going to the movies. Excellent, Joe. That's correct. Good one. Gabriela, continue with play tennis. He's playing tennis. Excellent. Right. Marisol Aleman, continue with ride a bike. Yes, yes. Marisol? Can you listen? The study? Uh, with play tennis. Play tennis. Is he or she? Marisol, can you listen? No? Sandra Margarita? Sandra Margarita? Is he or she about play tennis? No, Sochi? She is playing tennis. That's correct. Thank you. Let's continue then with Juan Alberto. Juan Alberto, are you present? Present, yes. All right. Now let's check with ride a bike. Is he or she? Yes. He is riding a bike. He is riding a bike. That's good. Thank you. Let's see Kenya. Kenya Vanessa. Are you there? Yes, you are there. Kenya Vanessa. Hello. Okay. Now let's use this one. Swim with the verb swim. Aha, uh -huh. good. Swimming. He is? He's swimming. He's swimming. That's all right. Good one. Okay, so we make sentences here with the actions that they are doing. Now let's verify another one. Now let's ask with more WH questions. That's depending on the pictures that you see. 
For example, what is Steve doing? This is Steve. What's the answer? He is cooking. Excellent. He is cooking. What is the other option with the contraction? Because here you have a complete manner. But with He's the contraction. Cooking. He's Excellent. cooking pizza. He's cooking. A pizza. Aha, uh -huh. okay. He's cooking a pizza. He's baking a pizza, right? Okay, good one. What about what is the woman doing? The woman in this picture. What actions is she performing? She is smiling. Here she. Woman. She is smiling. Aha. Uh -huh. oh. But yes, I think. Aha. Uh -huh. He is speaking with your friend. With her friend. Okay. She is speaking with her friend. Her right? Friend. Amigo de ella. So that's possessive form. But also, she's not only smiling. Or boyfriend. <laughs> or her boyfriend, right? Because she's very happy. Look at her. She looks very happy. <laughs> Por como la mire el novio, creo. Ah, probably. Yo creo que la está controlando. Se ve los de los morados. Ajá, yes. Yeah. He, he is controlling her. Ya le están levantando calumnias. Ajá, yes. That is true. Don't invent. Don't invent. Chambrosos todos. Gossip, guys. You are gossip. Uy. So you have, she's speaking with her friend, but also, no solo está sonriendo, sino que parece que está riéndose, ¿verdad? Do you remember yes. how do you say reírse? How do you say reírse in English? Laugh. Ah, that's good. So okay. in the present in the present continuous, how do you say it? Laughing. She is? She's, She's laughing. 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 Good. Esta GH junta me hace que suene como una F. Laughing. Uh -huh. Laughing, laughing. Laughing. Uh -huh. laughing. That's good. She's laughing. So she's speaking with her friend or maybe with her crush. We don't know. But she's laughing. Now, another question. What is the man doing? Now it's about the man, the man on the picture. What is the man doing? Uh -huh. Laughing. Please. Laughing? Oh, no. looking. She is laughing. Oh, that's good. She is laughing with her. Laughing? Mm, no, porque no se está riendo. Él está sonriendo. Ella sí está riéndose. Tiene como no, un nivel no de es, No puede ser laughing. En el caso de él, no. Porque ahí no, no parece que se está riendo, sino sonriendo. Ella sí parece que sí. Se está riendo. Se like. está like, ja, 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 ja. Que solo sonríe, right? Ah, okay. She is listening to the conversation. She is listening to your... To her? To her conversation. She is watching her. Looking, looking. Looking. Watching sería como que la está observando, vigilándola. Pero si solo la está mirando, entonces utilizamos el verbo look. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's looking okay. at her. At her. La está mirando a ella. Looking at her. Yeah. Also, uh -huh. para uh -huh. look so hay varias acciones look que puede estar mirar. haciendo. Look es mirar. Es eh, fijar la mirada en algo o en alguien. Pero She ya si decimos. Ajá, uh -huh. sorry. He is sitting down. Ah, very good. He is sitting down. Yes, porque está sentado. Yeah, that's good. He is sitting down. Any other possibility? He is looking. He is smile. He is looking. Okay, that's good. He is looking at her. He is looking at her smile. Yes. He is looking at her smile. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, tell me. En el caso del verbo sí, 
¿En ah, qué ocasión se utiliza? Good question. Hay verbos acá que solo representan una habilidad. Por ejemplo, sí, que gracias a Dios podemos ver. Este representa una habilidad. De I see. For example, if you say, eh, I see the picture very well. Eh, do you see the presentation? ¿Ve la presentación? Do you see the presentation? ¿Tiene la habilidad para verla? ¿No tiene problema para verla? I do not see very well. For that reason, I wear glasses. No, no puedo ver muy bien. Por eso es que uso lentes. So, sí, solo representa una habilidad. Yes? Okay. Only ability. Sí. Pero si sí. nos referimos a que nosotros nos concentramos, observamos, miramos algo o alguien, entonces es look o watch. So, they are okay. action. Esos son action verbs. Un action verb es aquel que uno puede mirar que se realiza la acción. Como, al, el, como algo más detenido. Algo más detenido, más concentrado. En el caso de, por ejemplo, de ver una película. I see the picture. A veces yo la veo, pero tal vez no me concentro en la película. Pero como tengo la habilidad, gracias a Dios que puedo ver, tengo bien los ojitos, entonces, then I say, sí. They can tell you, do you see? Do you see your friend? Deja a tu amigo. Ah, sí, sí, sí lo veo. So I see, but it's an ability. Mismo caso de um, hear and listen. Me. Yes. Hello? Entonces esa palabra la usamos más como para un sujeto, no para un objeto, algo así. De, sí. No, es en general. El ah, verbo sí. El verbo sí. A eso se refiere. Ajá, el verbo. Yes. El ver, no, ese puede ser, uno puede ver cosas, pero también puede ver personas. Por ejemplo, si le pregunta, mm. do you see the doctor once a month? Ve al doctor una vez al mes. I see the doctor. I, yes, I see the doctor every day, for example. I see, pero lo veo. Porque tengo la habilidad mm -hmm. para ver. Ahora, las personas no videntes, pues no se puede aplicar este verbo. They cannot mm. say like, um, I see you, te veo. Pero en nuestro caso, pues sí podemos hacer uso de esta habilidad. Es así como mm. hear and listen. ¿Ya han visto esos dos verbos? Bueno, listen no es, eh, lo utilizamos, ¿verdad? Hear, hear. Ajá, es, acá hay un cambio. Listen es escuchar, pero porque uno pone atención a algo o a alguien. Pero hear es solo porque tenemos la habilidad de poder oír. Eso depende de nosotros si oímos o escuchamos. Oímos o escuchamos. Exactly. They are very different. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if you say, like, I am listening to music. Estoy escuchando música. Ah, pero porque le estoy poniendo atención, me concentro. Pero si yo solo utilizo, I hear music, solo la oigo, pero escucho el ruido nada más. Right, pero no le presto atención. Ahí sí depende de, de uno. Hay concentración, then it's listen. No hay concentración, then it's hear. Miss. Yes. Y en el caso de ver, de sí, ¿cuál, ¿cómo sería la pronunciación? Por ejemplo, sí. viendo. Ya, la, ah, ya, 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 uh -huh. ya el verbo conjugado. Sí. Sí. Solo que acá sí. Es un verbo que no tiene acción, como el que, el que les mencionaba, que hay verbos que no representan una acción. Solo se puede una... conjugar, no se le puede agregar el DNG. Se puede, pero ya tiene otro contexto. Tiene un contexto no de la habilidad de poder ver, sino de, en el caso de, eh, por ejemplo, infidelidad. O en el aspecto de ver a alguien profesionalmente. Por ejemplo, si dice... Um, You are seeing another woman. Si viene la esposa y le reclama al esposo, ¿verdad? Está viendo a otra mujer, pero no porque la está eh, mirando, sino porque la está frecuentando. <coughs> The same Como case, en right? tercera persona. It's a third person. Uh -huh. You're seeing. O igual, ¿verdad? Se puede utilizar con todos los sujetos. If you, eh, you have a secret. 
le cuenta usted un secreto a su mejor amiga, a su mejor amigo, y ¿sabes qué? Fíjate que yo estoy viendo, soy, me estoy viendo con otro chico, es porque lo estoy frecuentando. I'm seeing, I'm seeing another boy. Estoy viendo otro chico. Lo frecuento, lo visito, I se reúne. I'm seeing to the serie. I'm seeing? To the serie o una serie? Mm, no, ah. that's different. Then you say, I'm watching a series. Ah, okay. Porque la está mirando, eh, se está concentrando en ella. Pero eh, si utilizo sí con ING. No, pero en el... yo, Sorry. podría ser que yo le diga a otra persona, ah, yo estaba, estoy viendo una serie, fíjate, está buena. Ah, pero no con el verbo sí, porque sí, Ajá. con ING eh, tiene el contexto de infidelidad o eh, en el contexto de ver a alguien profesionalmente. Por ejemplo, si usted, por ejemplo, está viendo un doctor y digamos que ah, el doctor no le recomendó una medicina buena, le cayó mal, usted cambia al doctor. Y dice, I am seeing another doctor. Estoy viendo otro doctor. I'm seeing another doctor because I need good medicine. En ese okay. contexto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ahí entonces ya sí ya. Got it. O en el contexto de infidelidad. Si le dice, ay, me di cuenta de que mi novio está viendo a otra chica. My boyfriend is seeing another girl, pero no viéndola con los, o sea, literalmente con los ojos, sino la está frecuentando, le está siendo infiel con otra chica, o la chica uh. está siendo infiel con otro chico. No, eso sí no. Todo va, de, bueno, todo si va a depender callado, de la acción, bien. entonces, teacher. Todo depende del contexto en el que lo, lo quiere utilizar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero okay. si solo yo quiero representar nada más, ah, que yo veo... Eh, por ejemplo, uno a su alrededor puede ver muchas cosas o muchas personas, pero ¿en qué me concentro? Entonces es look or watch. Right now, I see the computer, uh, the computer. I see you. I see, for example, the wall. I, uh, I see decorations. Puedo ver decoraciones bien bonitas que ustedes tienen en, en el lugar donde están, pero ¿en quién está concentrado? O en qué está concentrado, then you use look. Or watch. Watch si usted está vigilando o observando. So that depends on the context that you have. In the case of here, es solo oír. I hear. I hear a fan. Oigo el ventilador. I hear. Lo oigo, pero no le presto atención. So it's here. Then if you say, I Yo listen. Yo pensé que era mi ventilador. <laughs> so if you say listen es escuchar pero porque uno le presta atención a algo o en el caso del de, de, aire acondicionado también a veces hace ruido so it depends oh, oigo un ratón en la cocina here solo lo oye pero porque tiene la habilidad si le presta atención detenidamente then es listen conjugado sería listening. Excellent, that's good. Y en el caso de here es incorrecto utilizarlo con un ing porque nada más representa no, una no habilidad. Here. Ajá. So incorrect to say hearing, que en algunas conversaciones informales se utiliza, pero gramáticamente no es correcto. ¿Y cómo se podría utilizar ese, ese verbo entonces? Dicho? Here. Sí. Here eh, es solo para... Eh, list, if you say listen, es si usted le presta atención a algo. Por ejemplo, listen to music, listen to the radio, listen to the doctor, listen to your father, listen to your mother, listen to your grandparents. Escucha a alguien o escucha algo. Pero es concentrarse, eh, prestar atención. For example, you pay attention to the class. Hay poner atención a la clase. It depends. If you listen, Or you hear. Here solo se escucha el ruido ahí. Pero no se presta atención. Ese es con hear. Solo representa una habilidad. O sea que en este caso, hear, hear va a ser bien puntual para cuando se va a utilizar. Para oír. Nada más Porque oye, no se... pero no pone atención. So this listen is you pay attention. No se va a conjugar entonces ese verbo. No with ing. Con ing no, pero con el resto de los tiempos sí. Porque puede llevar okay. simple present. If you say, uh -huh. I hear, I hear your voice. I, oigo tu voz, pero tal vez no le pongo mucha atención. Solo la oigo, yes. I hear your voice. 
I hear a noise. Yo oigo un ruido. Todo mm. depende de mí. Si le pongo atención, entonces listen. Ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maybe. teacher. You're very welcome. Nevi, do you have a question? Uh, no, solamente quería decirle, vaya, si es correcto que yo diga, I hear a mouse. I hear a mouse. Estoy escuchando, estoy escuchando un ratón. Y el otro sería correcto, I'm listening music. I'm listening to music. Este usted to se music. concentra. Uh -huh. Listening to music. Me concentro, lo escucho. Pero here es solo lo oye. Solo lo oye. Ahora, si quiere poner atención al ruido del ratón, then I'm listening to the mouse. So it depends, right? Concentration or no concentration on that. Entonces puedo decir mi... Mm -hmm. I hear summer. I hear a summer. Casi no, no la escuché bien. bien. I hear. Como, digamos sería correcto. Escucho la lluvia. Ah, that's good. I hear the rain. Yes. I hear the rain. Ya. Yeah. La oigo. Pero como estamos concentrados en la clase, you don't listen to the rain. You uh -huh. hear the rain. Uh -huh. Ahora, si le presto atención a la lluvia, entonces I listen to the rain. Uh -huh. All it depends on the concentration, right? That you put. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, we need to take some minutes to pass the attendance list. So let me know if you are present, please. Okay, Miss. Thank you. Aaron Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Adalicet. Present Ada. teacher. Thank you so much. Alejandra Margarita. Margarita. Alejandra Margarita. No. Ariel Alexandra. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you very much. <laughs> Brian René. Brian René. Douglas Heriberto. Douglas Heriberto. Elmer Edenilson. Elmer Edenilson. Fernando de Jesús. Fernando de Jesús. Gabriela Abigail. Present me. Thank you very much. Jocelyn Susana. Jocelyn Susana, Juan Alberto, Juan Present Alberto, Miss. yes, thank you so much, Kenia Vanessa, Present. thank you, Maria Emilia, I remember I saw Maria Emilia, Marisol Elizabeth, Sente, dice Maria Emilia Present. en el chat, thank you very much, thank you, Marisol, Marisol Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Nevi Solida. Present, Miss. Yes, you are. Thank you. Here I am. <laughs> Rafael. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you so much. Rebeca Vanessa. Rebeca Vanessa. <coughs> Sandra Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. Sochil Yamilet. Present. Thank you. And Judy Edith. Present. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Let's continue then here. Okay, let's go ahead with the other questions. We got others here. Let's ask her about the time. What time is it in Bangkok? What time is it? It's 
It is seven o'clock. Uh -huh. Good. In the morning, in the evening, or at night? In the evening. Yeah. In the evening, right? Very good. Now, the other question is, what's sperm sack doing? He is ill. Eating. Okay, that's good. So, what meal is he eating? Breakfast? Sperm is number, right? Uh -huh. <clears throat> that is the name. That is the subject. Okay. So, what mm. meal? ¿Qué merienda? He is dinner. Ah, he is eating dinner. Okay, that's good. He is eating dinner. All right. Now, the next one. What time is it in Tokyo? It's 9, 9 p.m. It's 9 p.m. That's good. What is the other option? Sorry? What is the other option? It's 9 at night. Uh -huh. It's 9 o'clock at night. So you have two possibilities there. Now, in the question, what's Hiroshi doing? Mm. He's watching TV. He's watching TV. He's watching TV. All right, so there we have some other actions. Questions about this? Any question? No questions? No. 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 no? Okay, let's go ahead with other exercise. All right, remember that in the platform, you have the exercise that you finish, right? You finish already, congratulations. Really good job, nice. Now let's continue practicing more here. You have the sentence, he's playing tennis. But now we're going to formulate yes to questions or WH questions. And we have the examples here. For example, if I ask, is he playing soccer? In this case, affirmative or negative? Negative. Negative, right? Yeah. Okay, give me the complete answer, please. Can you Vanessa? No. Answer. Is he playing uh -huh. soccer? He is not playing soccer. Negative, negative no. answer. Yes or no? Uh -huh. No. No. No playing soccer. You need the subject. What he is the subject? Is playing team. He's, he's, no, he's, he's, no, he's no, he's not playing. No, he's not. Excellent. That's good. Si queremos dar una respuesta corta, entonces llegamos hasta not, right? No, he is not. Y debe de ser contractada porque es negativa mm -hmm. y es corta. Ahora, si es completa, entonces puede ser de cualquiera de las dos formas. So, what is the answer? Is he playing soccer? No. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not playing no, he's soccer. Ajá, uh -huh, that's good. No, he's not. Or, no, he's not playing soccer. Yes, that's very good. Nice one. Now, let's see. Nevi, formulate the question with ride a bike. Is right the question. Right a bike. The question. Is, is he, he is he ride a bike? Riding a bike, remember? ING. ING. Is he riding? Is he riding, riding a bike right now? Riding, riding uh -huh. right now. A bike right now. Right now. Right a bike right now. Uh -huh. Remember that with the ING is because the action is occurring at this moment, right? So is he riding a bike right now? Repeat it, please. Is he? Is he uh -huh. riding uh -huh. a bike right now? Right now. Excellent. Right. That's good. Right. Nice. Ada, answer, please. Uh, yes. He is. Yes, he is. That's very good. Nice. Okay. Now, Ada Lisette, you're going to ask Sandra Margarita. Okay. Formulate another question, right? 
she is she is, is she, she reading a book okay is she reading a book yes she is yes she is that's correct good one good. very good job that's nice now let's go ahead with Aaron you formulate the question to Blanca and select the picture for example with shop shop is she is he or she shop. is is he excellent uh -huh. is he is he shopping food is he shopping food okay blanca Sería, yes he Yes, he's yes, he, he, he's shopping. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's shopping. Mm -hmm. Food. Food. Uh -huh. Food. That's good. <clears throat> Repeat it, please. Yes, he is shopping yes. food. Yes, he, he is shopping. Yes, he is. Yes, he is shopping. Food. 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 That's correct. Good one. That's nice. Cool. Judy, good formulate job. the question. Yes, tell me. Who has a question? Question? No? Okay, Judy, you formulate the questions to Rafael. Rafael. Is she running, running? at the park? Running? Okay. Running mm -hmm. at the park? That's good, okay. Is she running at the park? Um, uh, you run? Yes. The park. Uh, yes, she is. She is running. She is running. Uh, in the park. At the park. Uh huh. That's good, right? That will be a positive answer. Now we can formulate. WH questions. For example, if I select the picture swimming, and let's see, Gabriela, are you present, Gabby? Gabriela, Gabriela? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now I have this picture and I formulate the question What's he doing? What's he doing? He is swimming. He. Let's suppose that is he. What's he doing? He's? He's swimming. Excellent. That's good, Gabby. That's nice. Okay, let's continue with um, Marisol. Marisol, are you there? Are you present? Hola. Yes, hello, hello. Now, let's formulate a question with this one, like this. Is she uh, studying? Dance. We're dancing. Okay, formulate the question. Formulate the question. Like, is like he, she, or they? She is dumb. But it's plural. It's two subjects. It's he and she. So my subject is they. They. They, uh-huh. They. Formulate the question. Like, what are they? ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? What are they? Doing. The, uh, the young don't no. <laughs> Just formulate, formulate the question. Formulemos la pregunta. Like, what are they doing? Repeat it. What are they doing? They. What are they doing? Repeat the question. What are they? The... They. What are they? Yeah. What are they what? are? What are they doing? Are doing? Doing. 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 So the question is like this. Doing. We're going to write it here. What are they doing? Are it's like this. Doing. ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? Doing. So what is the answer? Such it. Aha, uh -huh. yes, give me the answer. They are dancing. Ah, that's good. 
They are or they, right? This thing. Also with contractions. They are dancing. They can be they're dancing they're at the disco. Dancing. Dancing. Miss, right now. Dancing. Yes, tell me. Y en la pregunta no se podía contractar. In the question, not in this case. No en este caso porque la WH no se puede contractar con R. Si no sería como con water. Is. Con is, sí. Porque ah, puede ir unido ah. eh, bien fluido, como what's. No hay ninguna complicación en la unión. Pero en este de acá, si es water, no. Thank y you. en la respuesta, en el sujeto, como... sí, there. Yes. Por no ser sí o no, sí se puede contractar. En this one, yes. Pero en el otro, si es una yes, no question, también podemos contractarlo. Por, pero en el negativo. Por ejemplo, acá. Ajá, no, por eso, por no. eso le preguntaba. Uh -huh. en, en ambas se puede. Todo depende de eh, el sujeto que tengamos acá. Por ejemplo, acá en la yes, no question, si observamos acá, dice no, he's not. Pero uh -huh. es negativa y es corta. Ajá. Ajá. Si fuera afirmativa, es incorrecto. Decir yes, uh -huh. he's. Tendría que ser, ser yes, completa. they are. Uh -huh. That's correct. Si preguntamos acá, are they dancing? Yes, they are. Porque es afirmativa. Ah, yeah. Ahora, si es negativa, entonces decimos, no, they are not. Or no, they yeah. aren't. Uh -huh. Porque estamos contractando sujeto con verb to be. They're dancing. Okay. Uh -huh. Y puede ser una pregunta, ¿dónde están bailando ellos? Perfect. Así. Yeah, sure. Puede investigar lo que usted quiera. Uh -huh. Like this. Where... Are they, they dance, dance. dance, dancing, dancing, ing, dancing. ing. Uh -huh. Where are uh -huh. they dancing? So what Where is the answer? Possible answer. Uh -huh. What's possible answer? Uh, discotheque uh, is, uh -huh. is it discotheque. But what is the subject? ¿Cuál sería el sujeto? Uh, disco, disco. El sujeto. El they, sujeto recordemos they, que es el, el quien realiza. Ajá. Uh, right. they, sería. They. Ajá. También podemos contractarlo. They are action. They are dancing. dancing. Excelente. They are dancing. That's good. At the discotheque. At the party. At the party. Yes, at the discotheque. In the house. In the park. Uh -huh. In the birthday party. So yes, you can formulate and investigate whatever you want. Todo lo que quiera lo puede investigar, right? Pero, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Cuando vamos a decir en un lugar, así como en esa, en esa pregunta, en esa respuesta, perdón, para mm -hmm. seleccionar que, dónde están bailando, eh, ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar at y cuándo vamos a utilizar on? Mm, on es nada más en el caso de que vaya algo en una, sobre una superficie. Pero acá la diferencia es, como hay un lugar, puede ser at o puede ser in. Cuando me refiero a un lugar. Para lugares. Para lugares. Para lugares, para áreas en específico. Pero eh, sobre una, o como decimos, encima de, de algo, es on. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, the cat is on the table. The book is on the desk, on the bed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And okay. in and at is de lugares. Thank you, miss. You're very welcome. Any other question? No, no. Me... no more questions. Ya me voy a recordar. Okay, good. Remember, remember. <laughs> no more questions. No. Remember that tomorrow we continue, right? Tomorrow. Ya nos seguimos. Que nos queda una, okay. una clase más pendiente. Okay. Y vamos a terminar con esto con más práctica. Mi okay, okay, el siguiente yes. módulo va a ser corrido. No, de hecho, ahora me mandaron un mensaje de que no va a ser consecutivo, sino que iniciarían el lunes siguiente. Ok. Uh -huh. Así es que hay unos Vamos días ahí de, pasa, de entonces, no Ajá. Que... Con usted, Miss. Supposedly, se supone, hasta ahorita, pero no me han reconfirmado. Please, please, please. Please, I, please, please. For can this, can my pleasure. Rest, no, por favor. Sorry. I'm sorry. En la oración vamos a hacer. <risa> yes. A partir de mañana. Ya me, ahí me avisan la hora. Todos, todos digan, es la, la única que le tiene paciencia blanca. Ay, no. 
No, aquí estamos para Decimos ayudarnos. Un sindicato todo, para ¿verdad? que siga usted mismo. We continue with that. <risa> Hay que decretarlo. <risa> Mañana todo con pancarta fuera de Insafor. <risa> Para, ¿Me avisan la hora que es para llegar? ¡Miren, hágame! ¿no? Aunque sea virtualmente, le voy a apoyar. Le yeah, otro... cortó el pelo, Aaron. Yes, he cut his hair, right? Sorry, Nevi, you were saying? La otra pregunta, Miss, yes, ¿cómo podemos hacer? Porque, mire, a mí me da, me da bastante problema lo que son las preguntas. Where, when, todas esas a mí en el momento me las recuerdo. Por WH. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, una técnica, una técnica para aprendernos esas, esas interrogantes, esas preguntas, esas palabritas o frases, podríamos Ajá, decirlo. De así. WH. I'm going to send para you more videos. Le voy a enviar más videos, porque la única manera es escuchándolas y viendo en conversaciones. No sé si vieron unas que les envié. Les había mandado unas de WH questions, de yes no questions, sí. and the exercises. Sí. Y les voy a mandar otras de ejercicios, igual con la agenda web. <risa> Esa, okay, esa manera okay. también le puede ayudar a uno bastante a irlo mm -hmm. recordando. Bien, Miss. Uh -huh. Thank you. Miss. Thank you so much. Yes, tell me. Y, y esos videos que están en el grupo, ¿van a cerrar ese grupo no? Se supone que no, porque es el mismo grupo. Pero, Miss, cuando llenamos la, la, la boleta de inscripción, pedía horario pero no, sabe, no sabemos mm. si todos pusimos el mismo. Ah, todos, creo. Sí, yo sí, el okay. mismo. Yo también. Nadie ha cambiado, yo, supongo. No, 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 porque como a veces si tienen disponibilidad en un horario diferente, entonces ellos los incorporan. Bueno, tenemos que esperar entonces. Ajá, sí, tenemos que esperar a que ellos en realidad nos confirmen, ¿verdad? Sí, miren, lunes empezamos y a seguir. Ok. De tu continuo. Ok. Yes. Thank y you. en la plataforma, thank you. thank you, en la plataforma siempre van a tener eh, habilitados los, los videos, las clases que ustedes han ido viendo para que siempre la, eh, la vayan repasando si ustedes quieren okay. y, y la viendo para ir reforzando, ¿verdad? Eso también. Ok. Eso le, eso le iba a preguntar yo mis ¿verdad? Que esta, estas clases que han quedado grabadas eh, las podemos encontrar en la plataforma de, de YouTube. Fíjese que sí, porque esa uh -huh. Insafor se encarga de subirlas. Siempre las tienen ustedes en la plataforma, porque aunque estén en los demás módulos, yo eso consulté también. Si las iban a tener eh, siempre habilitadas, y me dijeron que sí, ustedes las van a poder ver ahí, mientras pues estén en el grupo, ahí las tienen habilitadas. Y discúlpenme uh -huh. que a veces pues eh, ustedes ponen mensajes en el grupo y eh, rapidito, a veces las veo, porque a veces estoy en una clase y lo que hago es preguntarle a Paola, ¿verdad? Cosas que ellos la, eh, les tienen que confirmar ahí. Y le pregunté ahora eh, en cuanto a eso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, para confirmar lo de las clases. Entonces sí me dijo que ya lo iba a notificar en el grupo. Sí, nos eh, avisó por la tarde. Ajá, les avisó ella para confirmar. Porque sí, todavía no habían confirmado si iba a ser ahora o iba a ser mañana. Uh -huh. Entonces, thank you, teacher, for this. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Any other question, guys? No. Nothing. No. See you tomorrow, right? See you tomorrow, <laughs> man. See you teacher. tomorrow. Good night. Have a, have a great night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night guys. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Uh, sweet dreams. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.